Are you listening? Hey everyone, in this video it's going to be a complete soccer training session. So we're going to work on our dribbling, our first touch, our juggling, our passing, and we're going to work on our fitness as well. I also wanted to let you know that this video is sponsored by SoccerLocal.com. So if you're interested in buying any soccer equipment, soccer shirts, gear, apparel, uh, I'll leave a link in the description below, which is an affiliate link. So if you do click on it and you do decide to buy something from the Soccer, soccer Local store, you'll help us get a commission to help grow this channel. So I'd greatly appreciate it if you did that. I also wanted to let you know that I'll leave a link in the description below to our Zazzle store. So if you're interested in buying anything with the DS Soccer logo, such as a, a, a shirt or a sweatshirt, um, you can buy that in our Zazzle store with the link. Um, also, if you do buy something, you help us get a commission so that we can use that commission to help grow this channel. So I'd greatly appreciate it if you do that. Also, in the description, you'll find a link to the PDF where you can download it to your phone and take with you to training, or you can print it out and take with you to training. And it includes a list of all the moves, of the diagram, of uh, instructions of how to complete all the drills. So um, you can find that in the, in the description below. So let's go, let's, let's go complete the training session. Let's start off with a warm up. Jog for a few minutes and then incorporate some of these dynamic stretches into your warm up, such as high knees heel touches, open knees, closed knees, straight front kicks, straight back kicks, alternating shuffles, defensive shuffles, and incorporate a few sprints as well. Now let's work on improving our dribbling close control and our dribbling speed. Here's the setup. Take five cones and place each cone five yards diagonally away from each other. Here's an aerial view of the diagram. For the first drill, dribble at full speed with your left foot only. Use the inside and outside part of your left foot when going around the cones. Complete two repetitions non-stop and then rest for one minute. For this next drill, do the same as the previous drill but this time use your right foot only. Complete two repetitions non-stop and then rest for one minute. For this next drill, dribble at full speed with the outside part of one foot. As you reach a cone, take an inside touch with the same foot and then repeat the same process using your opposite foot. Complete two repetitions non-stop and then rest for one minute. For this next drill, dribble at full speed doing side to side touches. Each time you reach a cone, take a wider touch to act as if you are beating a defender in a 1v1 situation. Complete two repetitions non-stop and then rest for one minute. For this last drill, dribble at full speed doing backward sole taps. Complete two repetitions non-stop and then rest for one minute. Are you listening? Now let's work on improving our first touch and trapping out of the air. Here's the setup. Take four cones and create a 3x3 three three yard square grid. 
Do your best to stay inside this grid at all times throughout the drills. Start off by juggling the ball in the air with your right foot only. As it comes down, settle the ball with the instep part of your right foot. Do your best to make sure that you settle the ball inside of the grid. Then alternate juggling with your left foot and settling the ball with the left part of your instep. Make sure to alternate feet each time. Do this for a total of 3 minutes. For this next drill, kick the ball a few yards above you with your right foot and then trap the ball with your right thigh. Then alternate feet by kicking the ball only with your left foot and then trapping it with your left thigh. Challenge yourself and do the best you can to make the ball land inside of the grid. Keep in mind to alternate feet throughout the drill. Do this drill for 3 minutes. For this next drill, kick the ball a few yards above you with your right foot and then trap the ball with the side part of your right foot. Then alternate feet by kicking the ball only with your left foot and then trapping it with the side part of your left foot. Challenge yourself and do the best you can to make the ball land inside of the grid. Keep in mind to alternate feet throughout the drill. Do this for 3 minutes. Are you listening? Damn. Now let's work on improving our volley passing accuracy. Here's the setup. For all of the passing drills, we will place a marker on the wall that will act as our target that we will pass to. Place the marker about chest level. You can use chalk, tape, or whatever you have. For the first three passing drills, set up a cone that is 2-3 to three yards away from the wall. This will indicate the distance that we will pass from. For this next drill, perform volley passes using only the side part of your foot. Alternate feet throughout this drill. Do your best to hit the target on the wall each time you make a pass. Do this drill for 2 minutes and then rest for 30 seconds. For this next drill, perform volley passes using only the instep part of your foot. Alternate feet throughout this drill. Do your best to hit the target on the wall each time you make a pass. Do this drill for 2 minutes and then rest for 30 seconds. For this next drill, perform wall juggling using both feet. Incorporate passing and trapping using the instep and side part of your feet. Do your best to hit the target on the wall each time you make a pass. Do this drill for 2 minutes and then rest for 30 seconds. For the remaining passing drills, we will set up 4 cones in a 3x3 three three yard square grid. Place these cones about 5 yards away from the wall. Do your best to stay inside this grid throughout the drills. For this drill, perform side volley passes. Alternate feet each time. Do your best to stay inside this grid at all times. By aiming for the target on the wall and by performing the drill inside of the grid, you will improve your volley passing accuracy. Do this drill for 2 minutes and then rest for 30 seconds. For this final drill, perform in-step volley passes. Alternate feet each time and do your best to stay inside this grid. By aiming for the target on the wall and by performing the drill inside of the grid, you will improve your volley passing accuracy. Do this drill for 2 minutes and then rest for 30 seconds. Let's finish off the training session with the fitness drill that will improve our agility. Here's the setup. Take one cone and place it as the start cone. Then take five cones and place each cone five yards away from the start cone. 
The cones should be laid out in a semicircle formation. Here is an aerial view of the setup. Start off at the start cone and then sprint to the first cone. Then quickly back pedal to the start cone. Repeat the same process until you sprint to every cone. Once complete, rest for one minute at the start cone. This will count as one set. Do a total of four sets of this drill, taking one minute rests in between each set. Here's another angle of the same drill. Let's finish off this training session with a cool down and stretches. Cool down with a light jog and then incorporate some of these stretches such as hamstring stretch, quad stretch, groin stretches, Are you listening? hip flexor stretch, Lower back stretches. And shoulder stretches. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. And could you do us a favor and share this video with your friends to help grow this channel? I'd greatly appreciate it. I also wanted to let you know that if you're interested in receiving a free three-part video series that I created that'll help improve your dribbling, your juggling, your first touch, your passing, and your fitness as well, um, all you do is have to go to, the, go to the link in the description below, dssoccer.com slash three workouts, and you'll get those videos completely free. All you have to do is submit your first name and your email address and you'll just you'll you'll be taken to a page where you can see those videos. So if you're interested, I highly recommend you check it out. So thanks again for watching. Bye.